Mr. Excel podcast is sponsored by Easy Excel. Don't fear the spreadsheet. Podcast episode number seven dollars and cents. Well, hey, welcome back to the Don't Fear the Spreadsheet podcast. I'm Bill Jalen from Mr. Excel. Today's question here's Tyler Nash. How can I set Excel up so that it always shows dollars and cents? All right, Tyler, excellent question. Well, hey, uh, most people out there are going to say, well, hey, this is a no-brainer. It's this big dollar sign icon here. Choose that column, hit the dollar sign icon, and you're good to go. But this is one that annoys me. I like to have my numbers right justified and the headings right justified. And when I choose that dollar sign, they move the numbers over just a little bit. So this is something called accounting format, which is something that accountants like. And if you're not an accountant or you don't work in accounting, then why the heck do you like this format? I used to work in accounting and I still hate this format. So rather than use the obvious one, the one that's right there that's just begging for you to use it, I want to use uh, something called currency. And to get to currency, we come to this drop down, open it up, and choose currency like that. All right, now you say, well, what's the difference? First difference, uh, the, uh, the the extra space is not there. The dollar sign is right next to the numbers instead of over here on the left-hand side. The other place where this really comes into, into play is how it handles negative numbers. So I'm going to go into the next worksheet here where I've uh, set up a couple of columns. I'm going to make this one be accounting, the easy uh, icon, and then currency, a couple of extra clicks, open, and then choose currency. And you'll see that for negative numbers, the accounting uses parentheses, and that's actually why they don't have that uh, number against the right edge of the cell. Uh, currency uses a you know negative sign, a minus sign. Uh, so it's your personal preference. For me, though, I like currency. I'm actually pretty annoyed that they um, put the accounting format there instead of the currency format because after all Excel should be uh, tuned to exactly what I want right well, hey, if you're new to spreadsheets check out the book don't fear the spreadsheet uh, 150 beginner Q&A three case studies and a crash course for your job interview this afternoon this is the book that makes Excel for dummies look like it was written for rocket scientists